Bracket that you howl, bracket that you howl shy, bracket that you howl, bracket that you howl shy, bracket that you howl, bracket that you howl shy. Call halal lie, you howl about shimmy howl shy. Alright, I'm gonna say that again. Bracket that you howl, bracket that you howl shy, bracket that you howl, bracket that you howl shy, bracket that you howl, bracket that you howl shy. Call halal lie, you howl about shimmy howl shy. Alright, that's Hebrew for bless your howl, bless your howl shy. All praises to Yahweh, the Father, in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, it's going to be a quick one, but Lord's willing, edifying. And um, I just want to speak on this matter, you know, which is, uh, you know, something that, uh, you know, needs to be addressed. You know, we go into these topics here and there, but main, mainly our our job is to prophesize, man. All right. But long everything is done, decency in order and to edify. All right. To build upon your faith toward the truth and your how about shimmy, I was shy. All right. Now, I'm probably entitled this. Beware of these wicked women. Beware of these wicked women that claim they believe in your how about shimmy, I was shy. Beware. All right. And um, you might come across you having a woman that believe, you know, but then it boils down that they don't believe. Because if you believe in this truth, you will follow order. You will follow the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And um, you brothers out there, you know, we get traffic because we got our channels up, you know, with the teaching and pushing the word. Be careful of these inboxes of these wicked ass women, you know. Because when they get kicked out of their house, you know, hypothetically, right? Or let's say um, figuratively, when they get kicked out of the house and they've been put away, you know, women are wicked. They're going to hit you up. They're going to try to get validation and justification on their behalf, you know, to uh, get revenge, you know, upon the head thereof that, that, that got rid of them. All right. And um, these women are out of line, man. I did a lesson on rebellious, calamorous woman. You know, well, the foolish woman is calamorous. She know if nothing. All right. I did a show on that maybe a few days ago, you know, because calamorous is a outspoken, loud chatter mouth. You know, uh, women are quick to easily lie to manipulate the situation. They look to validate and justify the situation when they're clearly wrong, man. You know, the scriptures talk about the tabernacle of the Lord is with men. And if you're a brother and you understand these scriptures, you should know not to entangle yourself in the affairs with another woman that was put away by a man of the truth. You know better not to entangle yourself in those affairs, man. The scriptures tell you sit not... It's Jake out here. Excuse me. The scriptures tell you... um, Northern. Uh, the scriptures tell you... um. Not to sit at all with another man's wife. All right. Don't believe these hoes when they tell you they single. Don't believe these hoes when they telling you about another man who they dealt with. First of all, us as men of the Lord, we don't want to hear about what this other man was doing with you. First off, this is how you know by law, these women are not our women. All right. These women is, is basically adultery, man. If you if you really want to get technical, it's adultery. Even having sex with these women that lay down with men in their lives, all right, it's adultery. Right now, we're rehearsing the righteous acts of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's all according to faith and the mercy that the Lord gives us. Because guess what? The woman that you have might not make it. You know, Most High may deem her as a as an adulterer. You know, you know, a uh, brother sent me a picture of uh, Sakari. Uh, and he was he was supposed to be the priest marrying this couple, you know, and I just looked at that and said wow You know When here it is, you know that woman more than likely Laid down with someone else, you know But right now we're rehearsing the righteous acts. All right. The laws are not going to save you You know, it's the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai So of course the law is to govern our flesh and it's the rule. It's the guide in which we live by the, the, the G code, all right, <laughs> you know, but um, but 
one thing about these women, be careful, brothers. Be careful. Don't get yourself entangled in the affairs with a wicked woman. When you only hearing her side. For one, you shouldn't even be talking to this woman. You know? Should have no parts dealing with her. Let that woman uh, sorrow. Uh, what, uh, let that woman cry her sorrows, man. You know? Because that's a wicked woman. If you're a woman and you get put out of your house, meaning figuratively a man not dealing with you and he divorce you, all right, then you have to sit quiet. And if you can't, then that's on you. Mainly also too, brothers, we already know these things, but I just want to put it out there. When a woman is rebellious, more than likely, there's another man's spirit on her. If your woman is rebellious and don't go according to your way, don't go according to your say, all right? And always got something to say against what you saying. Even if she want to draw you into bringing the scriptures out, you know, more than likely read the spirit because that woman has another man's spirit on her. All right. Meaning that woman already probably committed adultery already, but you don't know she did. You know, see what the most high does. He put men and women together. All right. And sometimes it could be temporary. That woman could be there for a season and then the Lord could remove that woman. He can soften hearts and harden hearts, you know. And that was just for you as a man of the Lord to get by. Remember, we are the we are the goal. All right. We are the goal, the the uh the the uh the goal of the Lord, man. We are the goal. We, we're the ones that that uh over these women, man. You know, we're not chasing women, women's supposed to chase us. All right, and that's just having not to be prideful or overconfidence, that's just having a ruling class mentality because the most high set up his tabernacle with men. This is all about the men. As um, James Brown said, this is a man's world. All right. Yasha Allah, meaning what? Prince of the power. So the Lord is talking to you princes of Israel. You are the heads of the house. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai governs over the house, man. All right. So let's get into the scripture. I don't want to sit here and keep rumbling on, but I wanted to get those pointers out. Do not get entangled with the affairs of wicked women that been put out of their house, man. Stay the fuck away, man. Don't go and commit adultery, man. You know? Might have that demon on you where, damn, yo, she ain't that bad looking. Damn, why that brother? Damn, she said that about that brother. He treated like that. Damn, yo. When the last time y'all had sex? Oh, y'all ain't had sex in that long? Wow. Man, I could deal with you. Come come over here. That's a wicked ass nigga. The most I gonna put you niggas to death, man. You wicked ass niggas you know so don't be no wicked ass nigga let them foolish wicked niggas commit adultery man all right the lord said he give a wicked woman to a wicked man all right and i'm gonna read the opposite of that here in this scripture here this is ecclesiasticus uh excuse me ecclesiastes chapter 7 and 25 it said uh verse 26 it says, and I find more bitter than death the woman. So what's more bitter than death? A woman. Okay. It says, and I find more bitter than death the woman. Whose heart is snares and nets and hands as bands. Who so pleaseth the most high shall escape from her. But the sinner shall be taken by her. You see? So a, a woman that brings trouble upon you. She's about snares and nets. And she'll tell you, oh, I'm not trying to trap you. I'm not trying to be over you. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But instead, she rebellious into everything that you say. She's challenging everything that you do. She's going to other men for advice. All right. On how to get over on you. All right. Now, in the spirit, if you was in the world, what men in the world do? You know what? I don't want to have no trouble tonight. I'm going to let her get away. You know, she fussing and screaming. I'm tired. You know, and men of the world, they lose their man, their manliness. You know, and they they allow these women to run over them. But us men in the truth, we're not bowing down to no woman. You know? You women are serpent authority. These these wicked women, wicked women. All right? Cuz there are rich, some 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 decent type women out there. Trust me. They are. All right? And on top of that, let me say this too. We're men not looking for women. We're not looking for multitudes of women right now. You know, that's another thing I want to put out there. 
You know, we sh you shouldn't even have multiple women. You know, even though it's okay, it's, it's okay to have, but it's not expedient because our our love first is the truth. But of course, the Lord would give you a woman to cross your path so that you walk in His truth, balance. You know, if the Lord have your lot that way. All right. But uh, going back to the point, right? You know, these women they will assert authority over you and they challenge you. Okay. These are the signs of a wicked woman. It says, and I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets because her mind, she, she'll tell you, I'm not trying to trap you. I'm not trying to be over you. But instead, she's thinking of ways on how to get over on you. That snares and nets. She's trying to come up with some way, find some other way, and then hit you with it so that you bow down to her. You listen to what she got to say. All right. And if you've never been to these women, they're going to hate you. They're going to want blood, man. So now she becomes your enemy. And I'm going to say this too. For all you women that left your men or you got put out, if you either remain quietly so you can reconcile and in and, and due time, if the Lord's will, or if you go out there and commit adultery, it's death and destruction upon you, man. And especially if a woman, you know, you know, you get into arguments with your woman. We, hey, shit ain't perfect. All right. But guess what? If your woman say that the most high gonna kill you, man, fuck that bitch. All right? Because she's she's way out of order. Throw that bitch off the roof figuratively. <laughs> you know? Don't throw off the roof. You know? But throw that bitch out the window. Don't throw out the window. You get my drift. All right? You know, you got to get rid of that woman. That woman is a demon. All right? And if she can, she'll kill you, man. All right? She'll go to the system. She'll do everything in her power. To destroy your world that's a wicked ass woman man you know so death and destruction until you wicked ass bitches man all right biatch it's uh this is <laughs> uh, ecclesiastes 7 and 26 let's get back and i find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets her mind is all full of traps man all full of traps all right it says and her hands is bands all right her hands are all over you it's like a rubber band. Here you could stretch it out, stretch it out. But guess what? She still got a grip on you because she's back in the she's back in the picture. She's back in the picture. Now you gotta, you know, it's hard. It's easy, it's easier said than done. But this takes us as men to be mortified in our flesh. You know, because if you know this woman is wicked, stop popping her ass. All right, you don't pop that bitch no more, man. You know. You don't do that shit no more. You got to discipline yourself. All right? Because why? She's going to stay as those bands, man. You can stretch a rubber band out, but guess what? You let go, that band come right back into its same motion. You don't want to get caught up in a circle of a cycle of, 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 of a motion, you know, of a, a repeated motion. Here it is. You fighting, fighting, arguing. The next thing you know, you back together. Fighting, fighting, arguing, back together. Fuck all that shit, man. You know, we supposed to grow in this truth and strive for perfection, man. Ain't nobody got time to deal with somebody's feelings and emotions, man. When they want to be wicked or when they want to be righteous when the time they want to be. You know, that's crazy. We supposed to be under the orders and faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, so it says, whoso pleaseth. Now, here's the kicker, man. Whoso pleaseth Yahweh shall escape from her. But the sinner shall be taken by her. Meaning that man is going to be sucked dry. Probably pulled out of the truth. You know. Back into the world. All because of the he, his wits unto a woman. Trying to please her wicked ass. You know. But the scriptures say. Whoso pleaseth Yahweh shall escape from her. So just know. The Lord does everything. He can He can put, the, put things together. And he can tear things apart too. So that's why you as a man of the Lord don't entangle yourself in the affairs of another man's uh, relationship. You know, stay away from that shit. That is danger, man. That is danger because you do not know both sides, man. You don't know both sides. You're hearing it from this wicked ass woman trying to find a validation and a justification to, uh, to, to say this man is wicked. Don't fall for that shit. Stop looking on the pleasures, the beauty of a woman. That's another thing because niggas get caught up. Oh, man, she look good, though. Damn. She seemed like a cool sister. Damn. Nah, I, I don't want to let her go. I got to keep her in the tuck. You wicked ass nigga. Mosai going to kill your wicked ass. You know? You know what? You can have a bitch, man. You know? Go ahead and take a bitch. Take her. Because y'all deserve to be together, man. 
adulterous ass whores. The Lord said this is an adulterous and sinful generation, man. You know? So it says, whoso pleaseth Yahweh shall escape from her. So the Lord, what he does is, it don't matter what it may be. See, you could you could break up, put a divorcement on this woman because of a buildup. You know? Yeah, we show mercy, we show mercy time after time, correction, rebuke, you know, chast chastising it. You know, put on, you know, do certain things, you separate yourself, but then it, it the build up and it, and it becomes what it could be something small that the most high would basically separate it, separate you two, man. He had moved that woman out of your place because she's troubling your soul, man. She's troubling your spirit. All right, remember, the most high does everything, man. It says, Whoso pleaseth Yahweh shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her, man. You know, if we keep brothers, you brothers that out there that got it, those of the knowing, the hopeful elect, keep pushing forward to the truth, keep teaching, and don't let no woman take your, your crown from you, brother. You know, brothers, you know, I just want to put this out there, you know, because these women are wicked. Beware of these wicked ass women, man. All right. Now, let's read verse 27. It says, behold, this have I found, say, if the preacher counting one by one to find out the account which my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. So you know, so it's more than likely, it's less, it's few men out here that can actually get this truth and and be in the truth sincerely, sincerely, right? Because you got a lot of guys that know of this and they say, yeah, yeah, I'm in the truth. He ain't in the truth, you know. He ain't following the ways of the Lord. He ain't out there prophesizing. He ain't teaching, speaking the full truth. He's speaking lies, man. You know, so it's about the sincerity. So Solomon, he said, what? Which soul, uh, which yet my soul seeketh, but but I have found not. All right, because he went seeking. Who's a man of the Lord? It says, one man among a thousand have I found, but one, uh, but a woman among all those have I not found. So it was none. All right, because who, who sincerely uh, are, are, are going to give their body as a living sacrifice to the Lord? Men, and, they, and and I'm not taking away from those those selected, elected, righteous, uh, let's say decent, righteous women that that will be delivered, that will do the same. But it's it's more it's 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 less likely for men. How much more for women? Solomon said he found none. So you gonna rebuke Solomon? All right, which is the which we understand that was uh the spirit of uh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, what you gonna rebuke Yahweh Shai? You're going to rebuke the, the most wisest man on the earth. Okay. So. All right. Let's get this real quick. And I'm going to wrap this thing up. You know. I hope you brothers were edified by this. And continue to stay in the spirit. Do not get yourself entangled with another man's affairs. Fuck that bitch. You got too many women out here for you to be concentrating on somebody else's uh woman. You know. Stay the fuck away from that. That's danger, man. That's danger, man. These women are fucking wicked. Because you don't know both sides. You don't know why that man put that, that chick away. You don't know why that man uh, uh, not dealing with her. You stay the fuck away from that shit, man. You know? And it's just a warning, man. You know, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So this Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 25 and 26. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut, off, cut her off from thy flesh. And give her a bill of divorce and let her go. So you hear the words... It says, if she go not according, uh, excuse me, if she go not as thou wouldest have her. So if she not listening to you, she not obeying by you, and she claim that she is a, a woman of the Lord, she believes. Then the scriptures say what? Uh, cut her off from thy flesh. Now that means cut her off from sex. You're not going to have sex with some woman that you dread even uh, conversating with, that brings trouble every time you talk to her. You don't have to lay down with this fucking woman. It says, and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. Because guess what? Now, because since she was a rebellious woman, guess what? She going to be judged by it. Now she got to live as a widow. Now you got to live as a widow. No contact, no nothing, man. No flesh, no nothing. And flesh could be what? Sex and flesh could be even conversation, man. You know, being entertained for a little bit. She want to get put out the house, kick ass out the house. Throw that bitch out the fucking window, man. Nobody got time for that shit, man. You know? So, I hope this lesson was edifying. 
you know, I just want to put that out there because brothers beware, man. You know, these women are, uh, uh, you know, say some evil shit, you know, text you one word saying Hellraiser. What the fuck does that mean? What? So, so therefore, if some, you know, some crazy shit like that. How do you know how to take that? You'll say, well, I'm going to count the cost. I'm going to think the worst. This bitch going to get crazy. She's going to do the unexpected. So, hey, I'm, I'm expecting it. Go do your worst. Go do everything you can do. All right? Because you cause, cause you wicked, man. You know? And the most high going to deal with you, man. So, I hope you brothers were edified. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rakhak Hodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the hopeful elect. And even also to the few women that are watching secretly, uh, quietly, and obeying by the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Keep pushing the truth and, and, and enduring all the way to the end. Shalom.